All right, gonna do a video answering a hypocritical attack on me by Rich Pinkowski, the devil possessed cult leader that he is. And in this clip, I'm gonna show he's, you know, of course, going off about Eric Love. And at one point, he mentions me, you know, and attacks me. And he brings up the fact of how I changed my PayPal to, you know, I updated the PayPal to, you know, uh, change the whole donation system. But he seems to have left out a couple facts about the video and won't actually play the video in question that he's mentioning uh, because it goes against his narrative. Uh, but he attacks me over it. But now I'll show how not only does he attack me over it, but he's being a major hypocrite by doing so. Okay. And I'll get into that after I show the clip. So here it is. He's watching tonight, Rich, and commented on his channel about being called a reverend as being sinful. Of course it is. Everything is sinful. This is the same guy that says, I'm an adult being remarried, but yokes up with JT, whose wife is remarried. But that's okay. He gets a pass who actually makes video after video because we accept donations, but his own followers made a whole video about how they corrected their PayPal so they can get donations. That's okay. They're the biggest hypocrites on the planet. Now time to answer this hypocritical attack by Rich Minkowski. So he mentions me updating my PayPal and says, oh, he's updating his PayPal to get donations yet attacks me for accepting donations. You know what a hypocrite they are. Um, it's actually Rich who is the hypocrite. And like I said, he seemed to have left out a couple things about the video in question. Rich ignores that in my PayPal video, the video about my PayPal update, I explicitly said that donations are totally optional. I've never once, like I said, I've never once pressured anybody who watches my stuff to donate to me. Never once. You'll never see me do that. And I, I never have done that and I never will do that. Okay, every time I've ever gotten a donation, it was 100% the choice of the person sending me the money. Nothing on my end. I've never told them to send me anything. You know, I have gotten donations, praise, praise the Lord, but it was by their own choice. I've never once pressured anybody into doing that. Okay. Unlike, you know, Rich actually holds 24 hour Bible marathons to get thousands of dollars of money. But the funny thing is he can't even go more than 12 hours before he just, you know, I guess quits the whole thing. You know, I'm not holding 24 hour Bible marathons to get thousands of dollars of money and just begging for money constantly. That's plain and simple. Uh, this is something that Rich Minkowski seemed to have left out in his hypocritical little silly attack on me. Plain and simple. It shows how much of a Pharisee Rich Minkowski is, because hypocrisy is one of the attributes of a Pharisee. Luke chapter 12, verse 1 says uh, in the verse there, In the meantime, when they were gathered together an innumerable multitude of people, insomuch that they trode one upon another, he began to say unto his disciples, First of all, beware ye of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Okay, hypocrisy is an attribute of a Pharisee, and Rich Minkowski is a spiritual descendant of the Pharisees that were around in Jesus Christ's day, plain and simple. Rich Minkowski is a lost minister and minister of Satan masquerading as a minister of righteousness. He's a wolf in sheep's clothing. Uh, mark and avoid him. So don't be deceived by this cult of Rich Minkowski. Just another example of showing how much hypocrisy is present in this group of his. And in this uh, Rich Minkowski, you know, warriors for Christ, they're really just warriors for Antichrist ministries. That's all that they are. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.